guys so happy to see you here so today i am making like an entire batch of snacks because tomorrow we have been invited for a party and i was given the lovely privilege of being the one to bring the snacks so i'm so excited because i have four awesome snacks to share with you today starting with donuts i mean who does not love donuts and for this i'm going to need sugar i'm going to need uh, butter i'm going to need flour some instant dry yeast salt and milk i'm going to put the the measurements just here for you to see the first thing is we are going to activate our yeast i have my warm milk here all right and in that i want to put our sugar quarter cup of sugar and i'm going to mix this i have had mishaps with yeast <laughs> before but today i am excited because i have a feeling everything is going to go well today okay so let me mix this nicely our yeast this yeast it's supposed to be two and a quarter teaspoons but you know what because i've had mishaps in the past i want to measure this is one teaspoon one two and a quarter mix this gently and leave it to proof for like five to ten minutes that's good enough so we're waiting for it to become frothy i hope your year has started off as well as my yeast has i mean look at that oh my goodness the last time i had a yeast failure in one of my videos one of my lovely viewers commented that it was because i wasn't feeding the yeast mixture with some sugar so this time i did it and voila Meanwhile, I have mixed together the melted butter and salt in the yeast mixture and gradually added the flour one cup at a time. And the basic thing is to just keep mixing and kneading the dough until it becomes smooth and elastic. Maybe it took me about five to six minutes and then I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then I will knead it. I should make a soft dough. I'm putting it in my oven basically just a warm place in my kitchen so that it can rise for about one to one and a half hours or until it's doubled in size and meanwhile we're going to be watching a movie because it's movie night and i've decided to introduce my kids to the wonderful magic of the chronicles of narnia movies which are amazing If you are new here, hi, my name is Susie and I am a working mom of four kids who also really loves to just spend a lot of time at home and in the kitchen making motherhood magical. So if this is the kind of cutting that you'd like, we'd love to have you join our family over here. And for the OG guys, I'm so happy to see you back again. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. It means so much, you guys. I can barely even explain how important that is for me. And I'm glad you're here. Is there anything more relaxing than punching out the air from your risen dough? I love it. So I'm punching out the dough 
the air and then kneading it for a few minutes i want to cut it into even sizes like maybe about 8 or 16 for the whole batch then shape it into donut donut sizes donut balls donut what those ones. i found that this small thing for measuring medicine for kids was helping me to make the perfect donut holes by the way you can make donuts without donut holes apparently but i want mine to look like the ones for Krispy cream and all that so yeah <music> Now that we have these fantastic shapes, I'm going to put them on a tray lined with parchment paper and let the donuts rise for, ideally it's supposed to be like for 40 minutes, but let's see how this goes. So now, because we really enjoyed watching that movie, <laughs> uh, it took about two hours, so my donut dough sort of kind of overproofed. I'm supposed to leave it after forming the donut shapes to prove for a, for a further 40 minutes, but I'm telling you it's already doubled in size and it's only been like 10 minutes. Look at that. So I've sort of had to change the plan of how I had planned to do the cooking. So I've decided to make the dough for the crescent dough, crescent dough that I'm going to use to make the pigs in a blanket. And incidentally, Looking at my recipe, it's the same exact recipe as for donuts. Who knew? So, I mean, had I known, I'd have just made a large batch from the word go, but I didn't know. But it's fine. So what I'm doing now is, I want to make that. Because it also needs to proof for another one hour plus. And today my yeast is really yeasting, you guys. I feel like I have won the lottery. So I want to make that and leave that proofing. I'll show you the other ingredients for the pigs in a blanket once I'm done because it's the same thing and then now when this is proofing i'm going to finish with the donuts just fry them and get them out of the way then i can continue with the pigs in a blanket then we can do the apples cinnamon muffins and tomorrow morning i want to do the banana fritters because those ones are supposed to be served warm so i figured i'll just do those and they're very fast so those ones i'll do tomorrow but for now let me strike while the iron of my yeast is hot I am so jazz because this iron is really, I mean, this yeast is really giving. So, yeah, let's do this. Should put four and a half teaspoons. Two. So, that's the half. So, as this is frothing for 10 minutes, let me just prepare now to fry the donuts. The good thing with frying donuts is like two minutes on each side and we are done. It's a very quick affair. best thing about making your own snacks i have found is that you get to control a lot of things starting of course with the ingredients like how much sugar you like the kind of oil you're frying it with and no chemicals of course just basic nice homemade ingredients and of course you can it's much cheaper to make your own if you can and if you're an entrepreneur this would be so such an interesting business to make by the way Wait and see how these donuts look. They look exactly like the ones for Krispy Kreme, you guys. You can sell this or just, you know, be that person for the, for the bashes who shows up with the cool snacks.
I love about donuts also is they cook within minutes okay they take forever the rising and the what and the what but when it gets to cooking it's a matter of two minutes per side okay and it's it's so easy the thing i want to do is i want to experiment with as many flavors and coatings and glazings as possible let me show you this is my most fun part first ones that I'm making are sugar donuts, which is basically I get the donut once it's still hot and roll it around in sugar. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this. Then I'm making a sugar glaze where I'm going to put icing sugar and milk or powdered sugar, whichever you want to call it, and just a little bit of milk, very little milk, a teaspoon at a time and mixing it until it forms a nice thick gel. Wow, this reminds me of Krispy Kreme donuts. Say what? Now the ones with the sugar glaze, I am sprinkling them with sprinkles because why not? Then I found this cool cool purple color oh my goodness you guys wow i will carry you on my shoulders as long as i'm able scatter monsters under your bed deep and abiding liking for you is all i need until my heart gives in Of course, I had to do a chocolate glaze, hello, which is so very, very easy to make because I just mixed the powdered sugar and the icing sugar and added the milk again very slowly. And yes, please, it is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, 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 wow you guys, I'm hungry just watching this video. <laughs> and for half of them, half of the chocolate ones, I'm sprinkling with desiccated coconut. I mean, hello. I am so jazzed about those donuts like what I have impressed myself okay and now I want to make the apple cinnamon muffins and as they are baking I get on with the pigs in a blanket for those who don't know what those are you must be very curious and I'll be happy to show you but first these are the ingredients for the apple cinnamon muffins guys apples and cinnamon are best friends like they go so well together in so many things and i love these putting these in the muffins because you know it has fruits guys these are healthy and cinnamon is so good for us <laughs> anyway let me just encourage myself so in a bowl i'm whisking together the flour baking soda baking powder salt and ground cinnamon and then i set that aside and then in another large bowl, I'm creaming together the softened butter and the sugar, 
until they are light and fluffy and then I'm going to add one egg at a time beating well after each addition and stirring in the vanilla extract the thing I always say about muffins is you mix your wet ingredients in a bigger bowl and your dry ingredients in a smaller bowl and then take the grind ingredients and then add them to the wet ingredients and voila so that's what I'm doing I'm gradually adding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and I'm alternating with the plain yogurt so that it doesn't become too hard and at the end of the day scoop them into my baked into my what <laughs> into my muffin containers and bake them for 20 to 25 minutes or until nice and well done always using a toothpick to check the middle like for you is all I need. until my heart gives in. So the apple cinnamon muffins are baking and smelling also cinnamony. Now let's do the pigs in a blanket. And for this, you won't believe, we only need two ingredients, okay? First, we need our crescent dough, which as we have discovered is the same as our donut dough. So it's right here. In the West, you can buy this like in the supermarket, like freshly made. You guys are just living your best life over there. And inside, we need the pig. This is the blanket. So the pig is any cocktail sausages or mini sausages that you can have so here i have mini bites ready to eat all right so we are going to wrap this and mine are made of beef but we can't call them cows in a blanket so we're just going pigs in a blanket but you can get pork whatever so i'll need to make the crescent then we'll wrap them in the dough and then we'll bake them oh and then we'll need an egg wash we'll do that later but first let's take care of our dough Now these pigs in a blanket are those snacks that you make and they look like you took forever and a day to make them and yet they are so simple and easy as you have seen the dough is the same exactly the same one as the one we're using for donuts so yeah that makes it even easier and then you just wrap them and oh my goodness first of all this kneading of the dough i find it so therapeutic <laughs> i am removing all my stress <laughs> On this dough. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. The whole idea of rolling these, I mean, cutting this dough, shaping it into a circle, and then cutting it into the pizza shapes, but really just much slimmer. I found it to me so, to be so so much easier because it's giving me the perfect perfect crescent crescent shaped dough because once you just get into these triangles and you just take your small sausage mini bite and all that 
and roll it into your dough. Oh my goodness, it is so easy and it comes out so perfect. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon, side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it As the pigs in a blanket are baking, I want to make this really quick, really delicious banana fritter bites. Because these are the ones you just want to pop with a cup of tea. I know I said I was going to make them in the morning, but guess what? It's morning. Well, it's almost morning. <laughs> I'm sleeping quite late, so I decided let me just finish. And then I'll sleep in tomorrow. The good thing is the men have volunteered to make the meal, so I don't have to go early. All the men's are cooking for us ladies and babies so that's cool so let's do this and then yeah you guys these banana fritters hey <laughs> wait and see the only ingredients we're going to need i'm using six ripe bananas which are mashed two cups of all-purpose flour two tablespoons of sugar two teaspoons of baking powder some salt one teaspoon of ground cinnamon half a cup of milk two large eggs two teaspoons vanilla extract oil for frying and, pow and powdered sugar for icing Sounds simple, but this is going to be the best thing you've ever tasted. Please try this. And this is also another snack that you can make for guys who don't like sweet things. This is completely savory. And when we are serving it, we are going to be serving it with a dip. You can use ketchup or you can also mix ketchup and, and mayo and a little bit of mustard. That is so good. So yeah, this is a nice and savory treat. Kids can carry this for their snacks to school. Amazing. Oh, well, you know, what we have is easy to make, easy as ABC. Just mash the ripe bananas until smooth. Then in a separate bowl, I'm mixing together the flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, and the ground cinnamon. Basically all the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. And then I will add the mash, bananas, milk, egg, vanilla extract to the dry ingredients and mix until well combined to form a thick butter. Simple. We don't need no So I'm going to deep fry this nice thick butter into my hot oil for a few minutes until they're golden brown and making sure I turn them so that they're evenly cooked. And the key is to also fry in batches to make sure I don't overcrowd the pan. And I don't know if you can make this any other way apart from deep frying. I would like to experiment with that but oh my goodness, once in a while you guys treat yourself. This is so good. And once they are nice, golden, and crispy, I'll remove them from the hot oil and then dust them with some powdered sugar while they are still warm and bite them and love your life. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right 
You guys, check out this spread. This was so fun to make. I'm sure these are going to be a hit at the party. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. And if you'd also like to see how I make freezer meals for an entire month for my family, I'll leave you with this video over here and I'll see you over there. Bye. Hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.